Hey guys, welcome back to season two of the best and worst reviewed restaurants in my state. Shemaine Man Dame drops. You know the vibes, baby. If you're new around here, stay true around here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe in the video so I know exactly what you guys want to see next. We need to cover the worst Chinese food restaurant in my state. I mean, we did this for season one. We saw something a little crazy. And because of you guys, they actually cleaned up the spot when we revisited it a year later. So I'm hoping the Golden Dragon does not have the same issues as the other spot did. But you're a two star on Yelp, family. Let's get into these reviews. Golden Dragon's website states they are open until 10 p.m. Today, June 8th, 2021, I called for takeout on 9, 12 p.m., 48 minutes prior to their post and closing time. I placed an order for my dinner and was told, are you ordering more? Since it was only $16 worth of food, I was then told they are now closed and won't be staying open for my order. Funny. I am then told if I order more food, they will make it. If not, they're closed. Ooh, golden dragons. Bait and switch, unprofessional, rude, inconsiderate. They lie about their hours and then try to get you to order more food if they are closed. The elderly gentleman I spoke to complained that he could not hear me on the cell. So I called back on the landline and was told they still couldn't hear me. Ridiculous, rude, enjoy the visits from the state liquor commission along with state and city health inspection. Whoa, I guess homie was a little tight. Mm. Wow, it's been a really long time since I've been here and I remember it being good, but clearly something has changed. Egg Foo Young was super greasy and black from the oil and totally lacked seasoning. Dumpling filling was tasty, but dumplings were way too thick. Crab Rangoon was decent, but shrimp lo mein was more vegetables than noodles, or even shrimp, and it lacked in flavor. Overall, whoosh, whoosh, two thumbs down. That's the reason you're sitting on two right now, Golden Dragon! Oh, we're about to read one more, and then we're gonna have to cue the music. The food here is disgusting. I ordered chicken wings, four of them Jones, which was never cooked at all. The meat inside was all pink. Then they show you pictures. Then they show you pictures of the pink infused meat. Look, I already know from these reviews what I'm going to have to go order. I think you guys know as well. I'm hoping the meat is thoroughly cooked, Golden Dragons. I'm hoping we're not going to have an issue, baby. I'm hoping I can give you a super official rating when this is all said and done. And I hope I don't get sick. Cue the music. My life been looking gorgeous. Take one day at a time. I pray I never have to force it. Got bad women for me. Tell they man he need to force it. I'm standing with the torch gripped in my hand. I'm hella calm. The other palm hold my fortune. I live ready to die. My mama hit me. Sounded morbid. What's going on, family? We're back like we never left at 11:31, Tolan Turnpike, Manchester, Connecticut. Now, we already read the reviews here at Golden Dragon, and according to Yelp, it is the worst reviewed Chinese restaurant in my state. I'm about to slide in the inside. I'm gonna order some of the items that were definitely in the reviews themselves, and I'm gonna see if anything's changed. Remember, we're rating cleanliness, customer service, and the food. Let's go inside. I was greeted when I walked in. They said I can sit down anywhere, grab the seat, of course, near the light so we can get some, you know, good visuals on this thing. And again, we're gonna order exactly what was in the review, which would be the wings and egg foo young, and I go from there. You know what you want? Yes. So I'm gonna go with uh, the egg foo young, the crab rangoon, and wings. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, no, nah, you know, just just getting the day started. That's all. <laughs> all right, family, as you guys can see, I mean, we have a nice setting going on here, nice dine-in type setting. Uh, start out early, you know, get that crispiness right there popping, a little bit of that sauce, baby. But uh, come on, man. As far as cleanliness, we're definitely about to go ahead and uh, check the bathroom out. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna be a one when it comes to being extra crispy.
but it's a little moldy, but still clean at the end of the day. I don't have tissues all over the place. Okay, okay. Got a little bit of You know the importance, man. Got that drip drip. Could use a little bit of Clorox, but again, not horrible at the end of the day. Bathroom check good, restaurant check good. Let's just make sure the food is good. All right, fam, now that the inspection has been complete, we can go ahead and leave down our restaurant card. Y'all know the vibes on this joint right here, as always. Download the app simply by hitting the QR code for anybody that actually picks these cards up at the restaurants. Bong, bong. It's all love right there. You just been reviewed by your main man drops. So we always leave that joint behind, you know what I'm saying? Pow. All right, fam. Already looking at the crab rangoon right here. Looks uh, lightly fried, not like it was fried too long, but it's definitely all about the meat on the interior. I'm going to lift one of these Jones up one time for the one time. Look at that little little air puff right there. You want to see that air puff on that rangoon because you know that's where all the meat is residing. That's the meat house, baby. All right. And then of course we have the chicken wings. Again, man. They don't, they don't look bad, but looks can be deceiving, can't they? And my waiter, he's, he's great. Yo. He was cracking all the jokes. He was like, big man, you're ordering a lot of food. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go ahead and leave this water behind for you. Water with the lemon up off in there for a little bit of extra flavor. Let's hit this Rangoon family. Let's, let's see where we at with this thing, all right? Mm. Mm. But it's more, it's more of a cream cheese, right? That's where the Zang comes from. That's where that Zap Attack comes from. It's not actual crab meat. You're gonna get imitation crab. What do you expect? You're gonna get this for the low low. This is a straight appetizer, but it's gonna be okay. And right off the muscle, I'm not gonna stunt. I'm gonna give the crab rangoon here at the Golden Dragon. I'm gonna mess around and give it a four out the door. Mm hmm. We'll take these joints home, family. Joints are slapping. Now, here's where it's important. What are the wings hitting on? We heard about the wings. We heard they're gonna be pink on the inside. Let's find out. Now, we saw the pictures earlier of the meat not being thoroughly cooked. But family, I went ahead. I took that cut of the stuff right there, broke through the crisp on the exterior. As you see, my fork is still on stab stab. And the meat has been cooked thoroughly through. So now we can go ahead and get that bite of delight. If we only be here for a minute, I can't. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> oh. Great dude. Yeah. That's what good customer service comes down to, man. Just have a good time, man. If nothing else, have fun. Life is too short not to. Ooh. I'm hot. Now I got stuff. The wings, a little greasy. Like stay by a bathroom. Because if your stomach can't handle grease, it's gonna run through you, but these joints is crispy and they cooked. They cook through and through, family. Like, I'm not gonna beat them in the head if they didn't drop the ball, you know what I'm saying, too? Mmm. Meaty. Mm, going down, boo. You going down like you supposed to. Why are you hitting like that? You ain't even quitting like that. Got me cold spitting like that. Mm. Mm. Hey, so like I said, with the wings, crispy, tender, juicy, 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 fresh. Fresh out the bag, but they fresh. I got no problem with them. Just like I said, a little too greasy, but I'm not gonna beat them in half. Four and a half on the wings. Four in the crab wrangle. Run that water back, family. Mm, thirst trapping. Thirst trapping for the action. Mm. Pinky up. I'm feeling real bougie. Mm. This music hitting too. My appetizers, the wings and the crab rangoon came out and they got me in a good mood, baby. That was some good eating right there. I told you, crab rangoon, zang with the zest and tang. Cream cheese popping. Their little imitation crab meat. It was all right. It was, it was all right. It had a nice little filling. I'm not gonna stop. It was mixed up properly in the back. Wings, 
wild crisp to them. Thoroughly cooked. You saw the bathroom, you saw how clean, clean the spot is, man. Like, so far, we we winning. We win, we had a, we, you playing with your boy. Uh, for those of you that never had Egg Foo Young before, um, probably the best way I could describe it in the Chinese culture is an omelet. It's an egg omelet, sometimes filled with shrimp or another protein out there. And it's not cooked the same way our regular American omelets are cooked. Like, you know, it looks more like an egg here. It's actually overcooked, so you're gonna get it brown, but yet filled with vegetables and proteins on the inside. That's why I could break it down for you. And to keep it a bean with you, this is my first time having egg foo young, so I don't know if the gravy goes on top or if the egg foo young goes into the gravy. I just kind of want to show you guys the gravy that I have up over here. All right. Boom. Just kind of mix that up a little bit. So I don't know. Correct me in the comment section below, please. Do I just put the pour the gravy over the egg foo young? Is it really for my rice piece? I'm gonna just do it like this. I'm gonna just for, for for what I think it's for y'all. Since I'm here solo dolo, I'm just gonna pick it up. All right, try not to make too much of a mess, Dame. Spill it over that plate, and then spill it right up over here. Ooh. Oh yeah, just a little bit, just a little something for extra flavor and family. Extra flavor and egg foo young. I just want to get, I, I really want to get into the guts of it and just kind of get that little meaty bite. Get some of the onions, definitely. Uh, come on over here, baby, don't be afraid of me. Don't be afraid of me. Got some pork. That might be some pork action, but that gravy is light, not really chunky on it, smooth. I get more onion breath than anything, salt it up just a little bit. Mm. Egg foo young. For the first time having it, that was definitely different. I, I, I want to, if y'all don't mind, let me just get into the rice. We have the rice right here. Show that rice some love. Mm. pork fried rice, not overly dry, flavorful, grains are soft, well prepared. All right, what I want to do right now, if you guys don't mind, is pretty much kind of take it to the app restaurant and give this place a, an official rating. We are going to actually put this place in the app. I didn't have time to put it in earlier, so I'm actually going to place it in. Shout out to Mir Mir, wifey, for being patron of the week. That could be you. All you got to do is give verified reviews. and. The app's gonna populate you in. Start using it. Add a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Golden Dragon. We're talking uh, 1131. Yeah. Tolland Turnpike. Manchester, Connecticut. Uh, type of restaurant. Mm, casual dining. A Chinese food. Yeah, allergy friendly. We have, let's see, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. And they are open seven days a week. All right, Sunday. All right. So Golden Dragon, let's go ahead and rate it now. I'm going four and a half, keeping it, uh, keeping it in the bean with you guys. So Crab Rangoon was tasty, my egg foo young had great flavor, chicken wings were crispy and juicy, and I had great customer service too. All right, Golden Dragon, Manchester, Connecticut, four and a half from your main man, Dame Drops at the end of the day. You saw what it was? I would love for you guys to download the app, start using it where you live, showcasing your mom and pops, giving them a fair chance. You have to physically be inside the location to get a verified review. If you do place a review on the app and you are not physically at the location, it will still go up. It just will not be verified with two green check marks, all right? Just keep that in mind. If you're new around here, stay true around here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend, man, because Best and Worst Series is back again with your main man, Dame Drops, and I'm gonna see you next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, this is fresh fried and crispy. Fresh fried crispy. Oh, oh, oh. Fresh fried fried crispy.
fresh, fried, crispy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fresh, fried, crispy. I'm in love. Ah, that beefy bite, that meaty bite, that bite of the light bulb. Cooking has to be moist by choice. Look at the things just tripping while the syrup is working. Dripping up off that sunrise right there. Mm -hmm. The juice in on that chicken that was a thick chicken. Boom. Sitting on top of that cheese. Oh, fresh, fried, crispy. Ah. There's a kind of. Gives us a little bounce moment. Fried, crispy, crispy. A little bit of that. Fresh, fried, crispy, crispy. Oh, oh yeah. Fresh, fried, crispy. Getting all the sweetness of cream. Getting that dark chocolate. Fresh, fried, crispy. That's rare. Damn, <laughs>